Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Your Eyes, and Sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful um, support, shares, and like. Thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> this is the year 2019. I want to say Happy New Year to each and every person. Thank you for returning and thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for the wonderful support, likes, and shares. And um, thank you for just being here and supporting um, thank you for the like shares um, thank you for also um, subscribing um, if you're new please subscribe <laughs> um, this is something that you, this is going to be changing your lives okay um, I want to say thank you for the donations um, that is going to be really helping because I want to get back on live online okay I know a lot of Sagis miss <laughs> miss the live online so there we go this year is a year of water it's emotion but and I'm seeing you guys begin also the year the quarter readings are up the energy of um, for the quarter is already up it has to do with um, for you guys it's balance its strength and its earth so you have two earth energies so you Sagis have your own energy vibration coming up in the month of February this is so good and um, it is a year where there are going to be a really challenging year overall in general but let's see what is coming out for you Sagis okay the energy of the moon um, comes out for you Sagis okay so let's see what else is coming up for the Sagis and the energy of the moon came out so a lot of Sagis I'm not sure what is happening for you guys but energy of the moon is you looking at your shadow side in this year and seeing um, people things and situation that needs to be left out of your life you could be connecting also with the spirit world this is what they're saying the energy of the moon comes up for you Sagittarius because you're also working with the energy vibration of the unseen world your spirit guides are coming in so there um, let's call upon the Sagittarius spirit guides star seeds and spirit guides to come in for this reading so um, they um, show me the energy of the moon okay and they want to give you Sagittarius some messages some of you Sagittarius are going to be highly sensitive in this year very highly sensitive it's as if you're going to be seen through the veil of illusion okay they definitely threw this card out um, and, and it's all about going surrendering to the darkness surrendering to um, the unseen world this is the um, year 2019 for you Sagittarius it's going to be wonderful because you're going to be connecting with your spirit guides and universal angels okay something about the galactic and the um, um, intergalactic councils are going to be coming in also to give you a message so we're going to be opening up for the spirit guides from the internet galactic councils the I priestesses are coming also in to give the message and um, uh, the ascendance master Lord Kum Kutumi Kumika um, Lord Kutumi Lord Kumika um, Archangel Metatron um, Archangel Sandoval Archangel Raphael Archangel Michael so all of these angels and guides are going to be coming in the seraphim angels Serasmus Bay and the pure light and energy is going to be coming in so a lot of you are going to be connecting with the unseen world okay they are going to be removing the veil of illusion from you Sagittarius in this year so um, it fell out I was like okay all right what should I do and they want me to give more um, predictions which I um, 
kind of moving away from but they want me to do that so this is a message that is coming out for you Sagittarians it's just a year for you guys where you're going to be working with the unseen world now I'm going to start doing readings for the animal spirit guides because here it is what is transpiring here is that you're seeing that your animal spirit guides are going to be protecting you so call upon the animal spirit guides and this is why I use them in this year reading as you're about to see the animal spirit guides are going to be coming in so you're going to be working with the unseen world some of you your third eyes is going to be opening but call upon your animal spirit guides to stand with you and touch you because sometimes people will say oh I see the unicorn is by you so I always call in the king and queen of unicorns Pegasus to come in as I'm given readings and um, your spirit guides work with the animal spirit guides in this year and I realize it because my even when my dog is my son dog is a little bit unrest I will call upon the animal spirit guides and then if you will just be peaceful he's looking up at me as thank you what did you do <laughs> so let's look at you Sagis. what's happening for the Sagis? so that was a little bit the message in the beginning for you Sagis. um you know and they're saying don't be afraid to channel things because I do channel but like without the cards but sometimes they will just because they just throw me um, the energy of the moon and you know and then everything comes out and I'm, I, I, I can do it but I'm like <laughs> but anyway Sagis, let's see what's going on you start to hear off it with balance okay because you start to hear off with an earth energy temperance learning balance and then you have your own energy vibration so February is going to be good and March is going to be good because you have the energy of the Empress so for the Sagittarians what is coming up what else is coming up um, the hermit um, chariot in the second period and the Angman okay then in the third period we have the energy of the devil coming up for the Sagi the lovers so there is something between you and love and an organization so some of you could be getting divorced for period what is coming up for the Sagittarians justice is coming up for the Sagittarians wheel of fortune Sagi, and the Emperor Wow 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 Sagis I am so loving your reading I'm not really liking the second quarters for you guys but um, you know we can't change things now we have um, spiritual then we have the seven then we have the angman which is the energy vibration which is coming in we have the energy of the devil energy of the devil is open is the energy for the year and um, then we have the energy of the lovers okay we have energy of the organization coming up in September October we have um, justice so this is going to be um, very strange because this is justice other card decks have them vice versa but I have to remember this is justice wheel of fortune is going to be the energy oh my god wheel of fortune was there oh my god and then we have a lot of success coming in so the Sagittarius are changing the game because you have the energy of number five, which is the air event um, in this year. So a lot of you Sagittarius are going to be dealing with organization now. Uh, number five is not here. Yes, it is here in the month of September. So what is going to be happening for you Sagittarius in the month of September? So we're asking of oh, energy of the moon was there so we're asking for um, an other message to let us know what is going to be guiding the Saji because the energy of the air event is here you have the energy of the Sun Saji Sun and the um, the wheel of fortune and victory and success yay Saji yay Saji <laughs> and the moon so something okay all right Saji I gotta tell you this but let's do it afterwards they say so Sagittarians your central of your year that is going to affect everyone wheel of fortune the Sun and success okay the chariot so this is just going to be extremely um, powerful for you Sagittarians okay 
it is no question it is no accent you Sagittarius this is going to be a beautiful year again and again for you Sagittarius okay it's going to be just a wonderful beautiful year so the situation that is happening in this year the wheel of fortune is the center with the Sun in the middle because the um, the energy what is the outcomes of your year is um, changes um, changes um, changes people situation changes but because it is already coming up in the month of September they gave you the Sun now this is beautiful so you said you at the wheel of fortune the Sun and so it's gonna be a good year Sachi here you go I show you them this is the crowning of your year this is the peak of your year okay this is the crowning of your year this is the peak of your year now what has transpired is that you have the energy of the Sun which is surrounding everyone which is bringing success to everyone the energy of the Sun is in the center of your reeling so you have the peak the center and the outcomes okay so the center of your year is the energy of the Sun this is good because it's bringing vitality it's bringing vitality and success energy to each and every person now the outcomes is that whatever the situation that you said just have to deal with in this year it's going to be very powerful because you're going to be coming out on top so and behind the Sun in the central comes again the moon so a lot of you Sagittarius the energy of the Sun let's bring it like this because the Sun is on top and the, the Sun is on top on the moon the Sun is going to be aligning you so there is this is light and darkness the Sun and moon this is why um, these are the people the people who are born in the day you have the energy of the Sun the people who are born in the night you have the energy of the moon so this is a really really um, powerful way of explaining this to you guys is that the Sun people are the people who are born in the day so 12 o'clock in the morning until 6 p.m. at night then we have the people who were born in the night 6 p.m. Um, until you know um, the, the next morning so while you were born after 6 uh, p.m. in the evening you are a moon person okay you're a moon person so if you were born after 6 p.m. in the evening you're a moon person if you were born 12 a.m. in midnight until then you are or um, let's say six o'clock in the morning okay six o'clock in the morning if you were born six o'clock in the morning until 6 p.m. you are a sun sign person okay so six o'clock in the morning um, six o'clock in the morning until yeah six o'clock in the morning until 6 p.m. you are a sun person okay so that is good if you were born um, 6 p.m. in the evening until 5 a.m. in the morning you are a moon person okay so I have to get at, um, for um, the people to help them to understand now Saji you got another good year 2019 despite all the transaction and transition that is going to be um, coming in you have a really really good year that is going to be happening okay whatever the situation is whatever that was transpiring you have really really a good year that is happening and that is transpiring so what are we doing where is this going what is transpiring what is happening for you guys what is happening for you guys is that this year is going to be a year of transition now I want to um, ask you guys to like and share these videos and um, leave a comment. Um, this video is going to be over an hour long, so the rest of the extended reading is going to be on on demand. Use the link below. Okay, the rest of the video is going to be on on demand. Use the link below. Now, another thing and other situation, what has been transpiring, what has been happening, you are realizing that your world is about to change now this is going to be good because I'm seeing a lot of earth energy a lot of balance that is coming in 
and balancing situation with people and things so I'm seeing your own energy vibration that is coming out um, with the energy of the strength with relationships okay now your strength comes out with the number 11 energy and this is why they were showing me the moon because you're going to be working with the seen and the unseen world and this is going to be um, wonderful now so remember that the first portal is already online um, so we're just going to be going swiftly through the first portal you have the energy of temperance what is this energy this is the Virgos. this is you learning to balance out things and situation around you you learning to take the reign of your own life and not being um, pushed by people but taking the reign in your own life this is good this is the energy of a heart sign this is bringing balance so January is that you're going to be finding a way of balancing out um, certain situation and certain aspect in your life okay February we have the energy of uh, um, we have February we have the energy of uh, um, strength and the energy of strength is wonderful it's positive what is transpiring and what is happening is that you are going to be pulling back the rain on yourself and standing up for yourself this is good because you are going to be finding this inner strength to move you to a place further um, especially with relationships okay yeah March wonderful and positive the wheel of fortune is the general energy and you have the energy of the Empress somehow you guys in March together with the Capricorns are working on the same energy vibration which is just so powerful because you guys are closely aligned and linked so this is so so powerful and so wonderful so this is really aligned and linked and this is going to be good the hermit comes in which is a water energy um, and the hermit is going to be showing you something about uh, and this is going to be coming up in April where the energy of justice is so the hermit is going to shed light on this information and I swear to you guys just to sit above the zodiac energy of the the month of uh, April is justice and just to sit above this so this is a situation where you guys need to take um, uh, there it, 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 you're, it, you know you're shedding light on the situation because you Sagittarius is going to be shedding light on either an injustice this that was the, done and this could be happening in April in May the energy of strength comes in in May and you are dealing with overcoming a situation okay overcoming a situation mm. sorry overcoming a situation and this is going to be good this will be going to be moving you forward because May the energy of success success moving forward is coming up in the in, 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 in the month of May as we end the first half of the year the month of the general energy in the month of June is uh, temperance that you begin with yourself in the month of January now what is happening here in the month of June temperance comes back into general energy and you have the energy of the anger so we are looking at June as a spiritual time we're looking at June as the time where you're bringing balance to yourself you're taking back your own energies you're trying to um, see um, uh, things about yourself you're trying to balance in things about yourself but you're also balancing the materialistic world and the spiritual world but you're also opening up but you're balancing the situation with other people and yourself so this is going to be June is going to be a really good month and especially for work June is going to be good for you guys so as we retrack second quarter we have water fire and water water fire and water so obviously the second quarter is going to be a quarter of you releasing things balancing out things and situation emotions and situations transition it's a transition period of you letting go and coming in and bringing balance because this is where the energy of balance is in for you guys is your guides coming in and showing you something you're moving out forward because of what they have showed you you're moving out forward and you're understanding who you are and connecting with who you are and this is going to be beautiful 
as we move forward what we have coming in is the energy of the devil now the energy of the devil um, fire water and hurt is in the third period fire water and hurt is in the third period now the energy of this devil that is coming up in the month of July it has to do with the Sun so the general energy is the Sun and the general energies is shedding light on a situation that is deceptive is shedding light on a situation that is deceptive and this is what is coming in in the month of July so some light is going to be shed on a deceptive situation that is really coming in in December uh, July as we move to the month of August it's a new start August is a new start in the general energies for a lot of you now what is transpiring in July you have the energy of the lovers so some of you could be having new start in relationship um, healing a family situation healing of past situation so a new beginning is coming up in the month of August September in the general energies is September have the energy of the star and with the energy of the star you have the situation with an organization whatever the situation is with this organization whatever that is happening whatever that is transpiring here you are realizing what is transpiring you have the energy of the her the the air effect now the energy of the air effect in the month of September with the energy of the star is that whatever that is transiting to be um, between you and other people your spirit guides and their spirit guides is going to come in a, a collaboration to bring you and move you forward in a positive way month of October um, the tower comes and the tower comes and you have the energy of justice so something is broken down and broken away whatever the energy of the tower is something came broke it down broke it away because this tower energy has been blocking you and keeping you and justice came in and remove it okay justice break came in and remove it so whatever the tower energy is and was justice came and remove it now try and understand that the energies the overall energies for you um, uh, Sagittarius is the energy of five five is transition five is changes a lot of changes is coming up for you guys the numbers that you guys should hold is one zero four one zero four whatever that is it's going to be um, inevitable to use it one zero four is this is for you Sagittarius in the year 2019 104 which adds up to be nine uh, five okay so again in October the tower came in because justice came and removed a blockage that you were having so this is good so the tower came and released and moved a blockage that you were having and this is going to be positive November a powerful another powerful month the month of November you are dealing with the energies of lower ego based people but you are bringing in um, the, the universe is um, bringing in destiny fortune luck um, so if you know and this is the, the peak of your reading this is the central of your reading which is shedding over the whole month and this what that is saying is that the whole year this is a peak and it's shedding over the old year and what it is saying to you basically is that whatever that is um, affecting you in all the 12 the um, in all the 11 months around you um, you are going to be successfully coming out of these things okay so um, the wheel of fortress is standing at the top and spreading light on January um, till June and spreading light from July uh, um, to December okay so this is good this is a really really positive now December fantastic success awards achievements is going to be coming in this is just going to be so powerful it's going to be surreal it's going to be real for you guys a lot of success whether in your own business whether these success are coming in in different forms um, you're ending a study you're successfully coming out of a study and that sort of a thing and this study is just 
powerful because you're making achievement in your life and achievement around you so this is going to be good and there is going to be your guiding angels that are watching over you you guys are going to be speaking up speaking the truth I'm seeing messages news coming in and it is very positive news that is about to come in so whatever the transition is in your life this is going to be in the month of December you're going to be very very successful and this is going to be very aligned with who you are and your energy so um, wonderful wonderful extremely wonderful energies that is coming in I love the energy of the Sun the Sun brings vitality but the Sun and the wheel of fortune that mean it's an extra extra lucky year with the energy of the chariot these are three yes cards okay whenever there is um, a question in a reading and you're wondering should I do something whatever you decide to do in the year 2019 it's a yes 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 go for it if it is in a positive way okay if it is in a positive way now um, I'm loving the month <clears throat> The month, your best month is going to be uh, February, March, uh, May, uh, July, August, uh, October, November, and December. November, December, you can't go wrong. You you basically can't go wrong if you miss messed up these months you mess them up on your home but you really can't go wrong with this the energy of the Sun is just bringing in so much positive energies whatever you decide to do in this year the energy of the Sun is saying yes go go ahead and make the decision and go ahead and do this okay so this is wonderful I'm loving the alignment of the energies It's super super positive for you guys I've taken the pictures you guys will see it um, some of you are, are going to be are, have to be finding inner strength to deal with your relationships whatever that is whatever that is coming up you're going to be um, finding the strength to deal with your relationships so energy of the Empress is here energy of the Empress is here so this is wonderful um, the energy of the hermit is also here um, so the Empress and the Hermit beside each other is as if they're going to be showing you ways and means how you are capable and able um, to make this change in your life in a very wonderful powerful way okay so this is going to be good um, the alignment of wonderful situation that are coming in and this is going to be also good for you guys okay so I'm sorry whatever the situation is whatever that is aligning you um, it, it's going to be powerful okay and it's going to be powerful because you are going to be realizing how beautiful life is going to be for you guys you know whatever the situation is and whatever that was happening you're going to be um, realizing how powerful life is going to be for you because you're going to be um, seeing a situation um, coming up in very very wonderful ways okay you're going to be seeing situations coming up in a very very wonderful way so and this is going to be good because what is going to be transpiring is that you are going to be aligning yourself with the energies of pure light and love but not only that it's, it's as if you're going to be realizing how wonderful it is to be aligned with these energy and this is going to be good um, and what we're going to be doing um, um, we are going to be finding out ways and means how to use certain aspect of ourselves and change um ourselves in this year and it's going to be very positive because some of you are going to be looking at the shadow side okay and that is